I'm Dan Colkin. I'm Nathan Goldman. And we are DKNG Studios. We're a design and illustration studio based in California. When people ask what our style is, that's a, a difficult question to answer. We tend to cater our style for the client that we're working with. A lot of our earlier work was considered more on the flatter side, very vector looking. And as our career went on, we tried to add more realism to our work. And that's what this whole class is all about. In today's class, we're gonna be going over five tips for Adobe Illustrator about how to add more realism and detail to your work in simple ways. Many of the tips and tricks we'll be teaching in this class are things that we use on a daily basis. Time is very important to us and we value it. So uh, a lot of these things that we do are very complicated from the outside, but they actually don't take very long. And it's all about creating efficiency with your work. We are going to be covering everything from the blend tool to working with gradient meshes and basically tools within Illustrator that allow you to add a lot of detail to your work, but with fairly minimal effort so you can really build up something that looks very realistic. Many of the projects that we'll be referencing in this class are from the entertainment industry. So a poster from uh, Star Wars Rogue One, uh, the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters, but what comes with that is tight deadlines. The entertainment industry likes to have things uh, made very quickly, and a lot of these posters are very detailed. So the, the tips in these class are all about making very detailed work and doing it in a very efficient style. Once you take the class and try out these five tips, we'd love to see how you use them, and please share them in the project gallery. There are so many different ways they could be applied, and even if you have your own methods or tips, um, we'd love to see how you use these and apply them to your own work. We're looking forward to sharing these five tips and tricks with you, some of our favorites from Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get started.